Starting with just one golden rectangle, we can create an icosahedron, which is a solid comprised of 20 equilateral triangles. Start in top view, activate rectangle, and click the first rectangle corner. Move the mouse until SketchUp tells you that the rectangle is a golden section, and then click to finish it. This rectangle needs to be rotate copied twice. In order to prevent the copied rectangles from sticking to one another, we'll make the first rectangle into a group. Activate Select, and double-click on the rectangle, which selects both the rectangle face and its edges. Right-click on the rectangle and choose Make Group. To make this rectangle easier to copy, it should be centered at the origin. With the rectangle group still selected, activate Move. To find the rectangle center point, first hover over this midpoint, and then an adjacent midpoint, then move the mouse to the center of the rectangle, and click when you see dotted red and green lines. Then click again on the origin. Keep the rectangle selected, and activate Rotate. Click the origin to place the protractor there, then press the Control key, or Option on the Mac, to make a copy. To start the rotation, click anywhere, then click again when you see 90 degrees in the Angle field. You could also just type 90 and press Enter. The copied rectangle will now be made vertical. Orbit the view up like this so that you are facing the red-blue plane. When the cursor is up here, the protractor is green, which means it's lying in the red-blue plane. Press and hold the Shift key to keep the protractor oriented this way, and click the origin. Then click two points to rotate the rectangle up 90 degrees. Now we'll rotate copy this vertical rectangle. The vertical rectangle should still be selected, and rotate should still be active. Orbit like this, and move the cursor to the origin. The protractor should be flat and blue. Click to place the protractor at the origin, press the Control or Option key to make a copy, and make a 90 degree copy. For the last rotation, the protractor should be green again, Click the origin and rotate the rectangle 90 degrees. The rectangles don't need to be grouped anymore, so select them all by pressing Ctrl A or Command A on the Mac. Then right click on any selected rectangle and choose Explode. Now we're ready to build the faces of the icosahedron. Activate the pencil tool, which draws edges, and draw the first triangle like this between corner points of the rectangles. Then add edges for adjacent triangles like this. Keep adding edges this way, until you complete all 20 faces. If some of your triangles have different colors, this is because SketchUp uses different default colors for the front and back of a face. If you want your icosahedron to look uniform, you can right-click on a face you want to change and choose Reverse Faces. Maybe you noticed that while we were drawing edges for the triangles, SketchUp was also adding new faces beneath the triangles. To see what these look like, we'll remove the 20 triangles. Activate Select, and press and hold the Shift key which enables you to select multiple objects. Click each of the 20 faces, being careful not to select edges, then press the Delete key. This uncovers 12 new faces, each with a five-pointed star on it.
There are interesting coloring problems you can explore with these solids. Going back to the icosahedron, click the paint bucket icon and find the colors you want to use. With just four colors, you can paint all of the faces so that no two adjacent faces will have the same color. Or you can use just five colors so that no color is repeated at any vertex. With the star solid, you can again use just four colors so that no two adjacent faces will have the same color. Or you can use six colors so that no color is repeated at any vertex. This one is a little tricky.